Yesterday we spoke about the laws of contamination, that a coin is not permitted to contaminate itself, only to his seven closest relatives. So we mentioned, namely the Sifono, that since the coin, it's his responsibility to be a disseminator of Torah. As it says, Sifse coin, it's a Posuki Malachi, Yishmu Das. Therefore, Tvakish Tormi Piu, because the lips of the Kohen, they are the keepers of the faith. And therefore, since he's the keeper of the faith, if you want to know what exactly it is, Tvakish Tormi Piu, you should seek Torah from his mouth. He should be, that's the source, that's the address to go to. As a result of that, if he himself contaminates to every person who dies, whoever it may be, this is considered a belittlement. This is actually minimizes the level of reverence people will have for him. And because it'll be a, mi a minimum of reverence, his effect as a disseminator of Torah or as a model of what Torah is, is minimized. Therefore, he's not permitted. But for his own family, which is seven closest relatives, that is not a minimization of his status. Okay? There's aloha. There's a law, that you have an obligation to revere Hashem, to fear God, to revere Him. So the Gemara tells us in this way we rule, that Hashem says, as you, you revere me, you have an obligation to revere me, you have an obligation to revere the Torah sage. So therefore the Gemara says, and the Rambam rules this, in the laws of the Talmud Torah, that a student is not permitted to go to the bathhouse with his Rebbe. A student is not permitted to be present when his Rebbe takes a haircut. He's not permitted. Why? Because if the student sees the teacher in the same context as he sees himself, he has identical needs as himself, the level of awe which is needed for the Rebbe to be impactful and for the student to esteem the Rebbe will be minimized. Therefore, the student's not permitted to be there. It would be a breach of what? Of revering the teacher. Therefore, the Ramam says that a Rebbe should not joke around with students as if you're, you're peers, as a peer group. Because if, again, if you act in that context, again, it minimizes the reverence of the Rebbe in the eyes of the students, and therefore the Rebbe cannot be as effective because he's no longer that role model. This is the law regarding a Rebbe, which is Eshem el Kechotira. You must revere the teacher, the Rebbe, not the teacher, the Rebbe, the Talmud Chochem. So as a result of this, similarly, what the Sefarno is saying regarding the Kohen, the Kohen is the keeper of the faith. He has to be the model, and he is the disseminator within because of who he is. Therefore, if he goes and contaminates to any of the, anybody who's dead, not limited to his own, this is compromising his persona in the eyes of the community. And as a result of that, he is not permitted to do this because he becomes a less effective model. He's no longer that special model. That's how the Sefarno learns. To Kohen Godel, on the other hand, the high priest, even to his closest relatives, he's not permitted to contaminate. Because we mentioned the, the Kohen Godel is much more than just an ordinary Kohen. The Kohen Godel goes lifnaim lifnim. On Yom Kippur, we had last week, he goes into the Holy of Holies on Yom Kippur when he's permitted to go. What is he a representative of? As we mentioned, he is a representative of Odom Kodom Achet. As we mentioned, the Beis Amigdosh, the Mishkan, the local question of the Shechina has greater value than the spiritual worlds. Because as I mentioned at one time, that the water in the, in the lever, the water which is in this world, in this existence, is referred to as Mayim Bochim, the crying waters. Why are they crying? Why are the waters called crying waters? Because when Hashem, it says on the second day of creation, God separated the upper waters from the lower waters. So when he separated the upper waters from the lower waters, what happened? The low orders came with a complaint to Hashem. 
and they started to bewail and cry. We're no longer, we no longer have that level of association with you as we had before. And it's not fair. Why did the upper waters have that relationship with you proximity wise and we're on the terrestrial level and therefore we don't have say if it's called Mayim Bochim so Hashem says I will make it up to you why? because ultimately there's going to be a Mishkan and in the Mishkan that location because I want to be associated with man has even greater value than the heavens because that's the Malachim that's where the angels are that's the domain of the angels I created existence. The angels only are to facilitate are only my agents. But my what, where's my location? With my children. That's what my location is. So where is, which location has greater value? The Mishkan. Vosli Mishkan Shachanti Besochem. Make for me the sanctuary I should dwell in your midst. Therefore the water in the Tachtonim, the water in the terrestrial level, in the Kior, in the Laver, it has greater value than the water, which is in the celestial level where our Kodesh Baruch Hu is. That's, it's Mayim Bochim. That is the location. So the Mishkan, the Beis HaMikdosh, is a, the, the equivalent of Odom, Odom Kodesh Adam before he ate of the Tree of Knowledge. Because that's where the Shechina in its true form was on the, on the terrestrial level, which was the original intent of creation. Which ultimately, after Tchis HaMesim, when the world's going to be recreated, that is the location which Hashem, that world, is the original intent of what God intended to be. The Kohen Godol represents that. He represents Odom Kodem Achet, Odom before the sin. So if that's the case, Odom before the sin, there was no such thing as death. Death didn't exist. So therefore, even for his closest seven relatives, he cannot contaminate. Because that would automatically, would sully the model of who Adam was. Adam had no relevance to death when he was created. He brought death into his into this existence, into his life, by eating of the Eitzadas. So therefore the Kohen Godel himself is not even permitted to contaminate even to the seven closest relatives for that reason. Now it's very interesting. We had, we discussed last week, a Kohen is not permitted to allow his hair to grow more than 30 days. If he has a 30 day growth or more, if he does the avoda, if he officiates, the avoda is not valid. Now the question is why? A 30-day growth. Now what's considered a growth of here? 30 days. As we see in Nazir, when the Nazir accepts Nazarethood upon himself, he says, Arani Nazir, he has to grow his hair minimally for 30 days. There's no, no such thing as a Nazir where he grows his hair for less than 30 days. It doesn't exist. So what's considered a crop of hair? A crop which we call pera. A pera is a crop of hair, is a 30 day growth. A coin godel, he has a 30 day growth and he officiates the avoda and the service is not valid. So we mentioned last week the Pirk the Rebbe Lezer says before the chet of Adam Rishim, before he ate of the eight tree of knowledge, Adam did not have hair on his body. Hair itself is, is a representation of the chet of Adam Rishim. That's the ra. That is the evil represented in the, in the Eitz Hadas. As a result of that, if this is the location, and when you have that relation with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to come with that crop of hair, what's considered hair? A growth of 30 days, as we see better in those here. It says, Gadol Pera, he grows the growth for 30 days, then he cuts it off and he burns it under the carbon that he brings in the sanctuary. Because that is that representation, therefore the Kohen, if he identifies and he carries that so-called, that stigma, which represents the Ra, the evil of, of Odom, this automatically, this invalidates the Avod, the service in the base of Mikdosh, or the Mishkan, for that reason. But So that's every Kohen. The Kohen Godel is even beyond that. But we're going to read in this week's Parsha, what about a Mes Mitzvah? What about if a person finds a Jew, the remains of a Jew unattended to, not buried? That supersedes even the what? even the Kedusha of the Kohen Gadol, even the high priest, although he's not permitted to contaminate to his seven closest relatives. He's not permitted, as I just said. For a mes mitzvah, that's an overriding factor. He contaminates. Because what? That's called Kovar Abrios. Since the human being was made B'Tselem Elohim, if the B'Tselem Elohim cannot be addressed properly, Hashem says that's the overriding factor. 
all existence was created for that Tzelem Elohim. And if, if the person lies there unattended, not, he's not interred, that supersedes the Kohen status. What about if he's a, a Nazir in addition to a Kohen Godel? A Nazir is not permitted to contaminate even to the seven closest relatives, the Nazir. Nazir, it says, Nazir Lukim al Rosho. He wears the crown of God. The Nazir, although he's not a Kohen, he has that semblance of Kedusha. He's called a, every Jewish Kodush. We're a Goy Kodush. The Nazir is called the Kodush. That means, in addition to that Kedusha, he has an additional. It's called Nazir Lukim. He cr- wears the crown of God. When you wear the crown of God, God has no relevance to, 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 to impurity. Death represents impurity. Therefore, even the Nazir, as the Kohen Godel, is not permitted to contaminate to even the seven closest relatives. He's not permitted. So what about if you have a Kohen Godel who's a Nazir? Both. In addition to being a Kohen, Kohen Godel, he's a Nazir. And he comes upon the remains of a Jew. A Mitzvah. Does he contaminate? Maybe only if he's a Kohen Godel he contaminates. Although his seven relatives not, but now we say for mes mitzvah, it comes upon the remains of a Jew on the tent, he does. What about compounded? He's a nazir besides being a coin godel. So you have a double level of this special level of kedusha, again, based on verses, psukim. Even then, it supersedes. It supersedes his level of kedusha. Again, so we see what is the value of tselem elokim. To, per- to leave a person unattended, a Jew, not interred, this is the ultimate level of what? Of disgrace. Therefore, as a result of that, it supersedes his status as a coin godel, and it supersedes his status as a nose for that reason.